Hello there everyone, it is Blue Triceratops back with another one of my Fallout 4 building videos and in this one it's guard posts, sentry posts and sort of watch positions, dare I call them that. I have a perimeter ring which is rather densely packed, it's at the Red Rocket truck stop from the Nuka World DLC um, and I wanted to take you around a little walk around it, you can have a look at each of the uniquely done little bunkers and defense positions you can have a look at some of the themes that occur throughout so considering where we are I wanted to keep a few things in mind at all times I wanted the decoration of the bunker itself to be appropriate for what that bunker is trying to do and for how many people you'd expect to be in the uh, sort of defensible position as it were so I have a uh, pretty secure looking bunker there it's very basic it's just made from a prefab with a few walls on it put down a couple of traffic signs here that you can see as well and now crucially if we face the road um, I wanted to design defense points that actually look appropriate for where they are so obviously anything coming down that road is going to be a, a vehicle quite likely so if you had a vehicle coming down the road you want um, spikes at the front like that because it kind of acts like old-school World War II um, tank traps if anything. Um, I've put a couple of cars down because I'm into the peripheral decoration for the place. I wanted to have some stuff around that adds to the theme of it and this is a truck stop so there would have been traffic traveling along that road and around and it actually allows me to incorporate cars into the defense points themselves um, just to carry on the theme. So I wanted to have uh, decoration regarding weapons, food, first aid kits, ammunition and potentially fuel as well as making use of the old vehicles that were in place. So I have one of the largest points here and um, you can see is an old bus. So the bus is slightly sank down into the ground. It's actually placed right on the corner of the um, sort of turning circle of where the road actually is so I have a couple of cars worked into it as well plenty of old tires which you can imagine would very easily have been available here and I've put down a couple of uh, guard posts that actually watch the various roads as well as the Minuteman spawn location which is just out into the distance there um, and I've kind of decorated it because I want to have these guard posts actually appear like sentry posts where people would sleep and be on patrol too as well as naturally be so uh, it means that your settlers or in this case raiders don't all congregate in one small place in the middle of your settlement somewhere that they spread out they use some of this resting furniture and sleeping um, uh, in this case sleeping bags in the middle of the bus and I'm just showing you the view that naturally if this is where they're being attacked from coming from that direction they'll have loaded this place up with their weapons and supplies primarily so that they can fight from this bus and from around these walls essentially it's just um, using plenty of different sets of tires, load them up around the outside of the bus, which would have existed where it was, and of course the raiders wouldn't be able to move it, so they'll just build around it tents, more junk walls, more tires, etc. So next up I have a really, really fairly big shack, as it were. It's not really a bunker, it's not low down, it's not heavily armoured by any case, but it is fairly sheltered, at least from the sun and the elements. Um, I've left the back of it open just because I like the idea that a defensible position is easily reached from the back but I have uh, yeah included a couple of these um, little guard posts moved right up into the walls to face out put a couple of more permanent looking beds down because this is a bigger more permanent sort of defensible place and put down a couple of weapons um, in this case lots of longer range sniper rifles and so on and a bit of food and you know decorate it with some more ammo boxes med kits and the like I will show you the red rocket once I have actually finished defending it and uh, then I like using these kinds of little sort of very small sentry posts it's just like one tent to keep the sun and the rain off of whoever's there a couple of ammo boxes some spikes just for decoration they're very optional and some boxes and things around I like to use boxes as sort of as a backstop because I mean they don't have access to a lot of armored material or military things to stop any uh, ammunition coming at them but if you can get a couple of boxes and fill them with dirt that would work very well. Um, you can see here I've put a couple of end caps down onto some floor foundations and then covered it up with some roofs adding more pillars down. Use a mix of different pillars so that it doesn't look too um, too factory made and too prefabby and then you take a couple of extra wall segments glitch them down on the outside so it looks like they have actually 
resorted to just adding layer upon layer of extra wood on the outside in order to fortify it. And of course, some more weapons and ammo boxes and barrels for warmth, because if someone's standing on sentry duty, especially in the middle of the night, they're going to want a little campfire or barrel or at least lanterns or something to be able to work with. So um, hopefully you have uh, been inspired to try out a couple of variations of some of these things. Maybe have a look at... Um, when you are building defenses, what sort of things you would have, how you can incorporate ramshackled furniture, barrels, boxes, etc. to add to the uh, thickness of your defenses in a very cheap and easy way. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. So um, you can check back in the near future where I'll be working on a sort of hunter's cabin out of a Longfellow's cabin in the Far Harbor DLC. Going for a little bit of a wolf theme for that place. Who knows, I might actually try and make it a House Stark um, cabin just for the fun of it. And yeah, eventually I am actually going to finish this Red Rocket settlement itself. And I have a full-on Raider Power Armor gang coming up in the very near future as well. Out of Outpost Zimon Zimonja? Zimona? I can't remember the name of it quite now, but I know it's got a strange name. So, thanks for watching, folks. All the best. And, uh, yeah, enjoy. Like or dislike at your pleasure. Please do share it around if you know other people who are interested and maybe want a little bit of hand at designing some defense points. So, goodbye. <laughs>